Good morning. <laughs> In fact, let me see if I can give you a little bit of brightness here. Looks like we're a little bit low on our volume of uh, light, but we can go from there. Hey, Jeffrey Paul with a question. You ever have too much? Have you ever had too much? You know, there's too many decisions to make. There's too many hours to do. You know, there's just so much. Well, I watched a, a program on TED Talk the other day called The Paradox of Choice. And it's interesting. This gentleman, I don't even remember his name, but it wasn't important. What was important was that the reality of his message was that we have been submitted to a time that has never been like this. There used to be a time that the only car you could buy from Henry Ford was black. So the only decision you had to make was buy a car, and it was black. Now, the decisions just to buy a car are expanded beyond our imagination. And he said there's a paradox that takes place. The paradox is the rest of the relationship is if you have 10 items to make a choice on, and those 10 items are there, and you finally go through your, your process of elimination, you pick one, and you walk away because you think it's the best one, and then your mind starts to say, but what if I would have gotten the other one? Or maybe the other one would have been better. And it causes this incredible mental, emotional, psychological dilemma. Wow, Jeff, what does that have to do with my day today? I want you to inspire me. I want to inspire you with a challenge. There's just too much. And it's really a necessity to just prune a little bit out of our lives just a little bit, to be a little bit more like the essentialism that I've shared with you before, or the one thing that is an incredible book that you should read. Taking our life and eliminating all the excess and allowing the very best to be a part of the everyday decisions we make. You know, the best decision today is I could be angry, I could be happy, I can be sad, I can be aggravated. I can be nasty. There's a lot of choices. What do you choose? When you make that choice and no longer have to make it again, once you make that choice, I'm going to be happy today no matter what happens. I'm going to be happy today no matter what the circumstances bring me. I'm going to be happy today no matter whether everybody else is unhappy. I'm going to bring happiness to them. When you and I make a decision and just put it on autopilot and lock it in, all those extra decisions, all those extra, you know, hard-pressed paradoxes they talk from TED Talk, cease. And that's kind of the secret of how you really can begin to prune your life by making some major decision in your life about you, because you surely can't make it about the whole world. But you, what is your decision today of your mood? What is your decision today about your attitude? What's your decision of your thoughts? Are they thinking about good and pleasing and perfect and beautiful things? Or are you gonna let every whim and every circumstance and every situation and everything fly into your life and disturb and change your decision over and over and over again through the day? Or are you gonna be determined? Are you gonna be absolutely determined that today, I'm going to be happy. I, my decision is not only for today, it's every day of my life. I don't have to think about it again. Every day when I get up, my decision of this day and my attitude is made. I'm happy. I'm ready for the day. No matter what it throws, no matter what difficulties come. And, and I had a, a, a neat little uh, quote that came out of a book I'll be sharing with you pretty soon. It says, our struggles are the short-term steps we must take on our way to the long-term success. Well, the struggle sometimes is to continue to be happy or joyous or kind or gentle or loving or compassionate when the world that we live in, the people around us that we live with, aren't that way. But if you and I have decided already and made that decision not to be changed, committed to that decision to be joyful, to think upon the good things, my attitude is going to be at the top of the list today. I hope yours is too, because once you make the decision, you begin to change the world. And the world you change first is the one right within, as I always share with you. Beauty and change begins within you and I. So today, make your decision. Make your decision to really live happy, loving, compassionate, 
joyful, all the things that we wish and want to someday. It starts today. Today. Make your decision. Make it one decision. And don't allow all the other circumstances to challenge, confuse, or change the decision you make right now. So have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. And know that once you make a decision, nothing, nothing can change it. And at the end of the day, if you've made that decision about your attitude today to be good and pleasing and loving and compassionate and kind and gentle, you're going to really be pleased and fulfilled as you lay your head upon your pillow. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to. And I'm going to be happy and joyful and kind and gentle and loving and beautiful. And it all starts right now. So you begin by making your decision. See you tomorrow.